Hey Clashers, it's the Town Hall 12 day and today I have gotten my new personal record. Nearly plus 200 on offense as a Town Hall 12 in Legend League versus Town Hall 15s. That's pretty insane, or at least I'm kind of proud of myself. The next step is going to be above 200 trophies overall. That would be insane. I mean, we had only one bad attack with 53% two star. All of the other attacks were pretty crazy. I am not sure if we can somehow top this. I will for sure try, but this is already pretty, pretty insane. 198. Let me know what your highest score so far was in Legends, okay? Like in this screen as a Town 12. Um, I I'm super happy about that. But we're going to go in uh, the last time today with the E Dragons on Town Hall 12. This strategy, I can only recommend it to you if you ever have to face off against the Town Hall uh, 15 as a Town 12. I can only recommend this strategy um, to you guys, but we want to get a bit of diversity in here and a couple of different strategies as well want to be showcased, hopefully. So let me know what strategy you would like to see and maybe I'm going to pick your strategy. Let's see, but for now, let's dive into some attacks and let's see if I can top my best day. Okay, let's get ready. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what? Why? Why? Why do we start with something like this? This is not good. This is not good at all. Um, so if we would have had to jump, we could have maybe tried to snipe the tunnel with sneaky goblins. Or even then we have the invisibility towers there. So I'm not sure. But I feel like the blimp should work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze the... Um, let's just freeze the sweeper. I think that's going to be quite important. Let's just try that. Freeze. And then blimp right away. Just like that. Good. Turn everything invi- Oh no. Turn everything invisible. Raise it up. Turn everything invisible again. One, two, three, four. Turn everything invisible again. Okay, where are they going? They're splitting. That's not good. Now for the town hall, please. That's good. Now for the town hall again, please. Thank you, appreciate it. Perfect. Okay, we got some great value. That's good already. So now let's lure everything out. We have to take them out. And then we have to identify the weakest spot to get some percentage. I mean, we have a lot of percentage on the outside. The question now, though, is if we can somehow make this work. And we have a lot of minions right here. That is not good. Let's try to get here. Come on, minions, go! You go. I would place a Bay Dragon here. I think the Bay Dragon is like the, the safest thing to do. Um, as well as like keep them in there. And the Bay Dragon should already take some more buildings down here. Now the question is, I don't want to go into the Sweeper, to be honest. Um, but at the same time, I feel like I have to, to some degree. So let's play the Electro Dragon right here. Bay Dragon is funneling a little bit. So let's play the other Electro Dragons just like that. The top one should funnel. Bottom Bay Dragon is sadly not staying alive. That would have been great, but it's okay. Well, let's see how we can enter that base because as soon as we're getting into those storages we should have some nice chains hopefully um but oh no i, I will raise them anyways i will raise them anyways so let's see when do we play i should have already used the one of these right especially now with drifting more towards the bottom side this is like the worst possible no i think we're not use the right uh, there i think instead we're going to use the right somewhere else it's a small bomb, which is not good, but we're getting a, quite a few percentage around the top side already. Then we can pick some more percentages on the left side, I think, with our heroes. We have a rage for my heroes. That is fine. Um, so I think... Let's not play that. Let's funnel that. We can already play maybe minion right here. It should be something good. Then wall break in. We can rage everything. So the wall break is raged as well. There we go. King ability. So the uh, single phone top is hopefully not locking onto it. Just like that. Queen ability now early because otherwise the eagle is kind of obliterating that. Okay, now king you have to go away, I think. That's our only bidding which we could get. Come on, take it out. Yes. Okay, 67 percent that is not the best thing but the blizzard was quite tricky so we had to invest a lot we had to invest the freeze and everything i was way too afraid of going into this top side sweeper i think i should have not been uh, that afraid but overall getting 67 percent versus this base i think is pretty solid but not the highest percentage 21 so the next one has to be higher
and we have our next base. This time the blizzard should already get way more value, I believe, um, which is obviously quite nice. Uh, we have to go them from the top side because the bottom side, that's where the sweeper is. The other option would be to kind of go in from the gap, but then we would need to fly into the compartment, which I feel like is not that great. So overall, I feel like from the top side, entering from the top side is the for sure better approach. Let's just try to get this right. Blimp, just like that. Test one. Okay, there were a, that was a double black mine. That's great, but we're triggering both of that. That's awesome. Now just like that, rate everything up, one, two, three, and four, perfect, let's turn everything invisible again, really, really good, and everything invisible again, really, really nice, now the next invisibility is just like, no, 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 where are they, where are they going, that was bad, <laughs> that was not optimal, I was hoping to get the expos, but at the same time, I think there's not too much value on the right side, so we can completely ignore that. We're going in from the far left side instead. Now the question is, how many Ziggy Gardens do you need to take down the clan cast without it coming out? Was it three? Was it four? One, two, three, four. I hope it's four. I hope it's four that the clan cast is not getting lured. And what? Okay, four works. I'm not sure. Maybe it works with three. I'm, I'm not sure, okay? I don't know that number out of my head, sadly. Um... Let's see, can we snap anything else? I think that should work. Perfect, really good. Now I think we're going to go in from the top side, I believe. Um, I think one wizard should take that out because it's already damaged. Perfect, nice. Now I think we can use one E-Dragon over here. And then we can already get the remaining balloons and dragons in there. I think that should be great. And then we can take some more percentage from the top side. That should be all right. Um, race right there. Come on, Warden, follow, 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 follow. Follow it better. I think it's actually covering everything, right? I will rage this Electric Dragon because it's getting a chain off on top of the of the uh, eagle, and the eagle has to go. And the eagle has to go down. Last famous words. Okay, I see how it is. Let's do that. And let's get some funnily going on that side. Bottom side, we can use some minions now. That's kind of good. King ability. We're getting decent percentage, I think. I hope. <laughs> Let's see. That's over here. That's another building down. Thing is going solid. 56%. Minions are going still strong. Queen ability has to be used now. We can use a Bay Dragon here to kind of tank a little bit for the queen. Um, and do some more damage. Wait, the sneaky. Oh, what? How much HP does this have? Not too many, right? Can we just... Did it? What? Didn't I play Sneaky Goblin there? Okay, I'm just lost, I guess. Let's just play it over here. 60. We're getting not that high percentage. What is going on? Not that high percentage. I mean, it's a consi super consistent two-star, but it's again the 21 trophies. We need a little bit higher trophies. We need like... 70 to 80 percent maybe that's a bit too too much asked for but it's still a super consistent two star the question though is can we still make our record work that's the big question okay that's the town hall 14 where i'm kind of scared of to be honest <laughs> but let's see if we can make this work where should we enter that's the first big question um we have a Double air expo on this side. That kind of sucks, not gonna lie. We have... Hmm. We have a lot of heroes down here. I think that's where we can wonderfully play our electric dragons in. So I would like to get the... Hmm. I would like to get the... What is it? Turn out of the way early. So let's just try to get in there. Just like with that blimp. Hopefully there is no traps. Please, 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 please. That would be great. Perfect. Yes, we got into that core. Now let's turn everything invisible again. Okay. Turn everything invisible again. One, two, three, and four again. Wonderful, wonderful. One, two, three, and four. Oh, did we? Okay, I think we caught most of the troops already. So that is looking pretty good so far. <laughs> So let's see if we can take down the super minis. That would be our next objective. And then we have to somehow get our hands 
onto this bottom side, I feel like. Mm. How do we do this? I feel like we have to funnel this side. Already play a minion or two minion right here. Another sneaky goblin right there. Wait, actually. Why are they not down yet? What? What? Super minions go down. Go. Yes, perfect. Okay. Now we're going to play all of that in here with the rage and with the warden ability. My hero is here to funnel because it's a turn of 14, so we might have the chance of three starring, right? So that is still in an option. And now let's see if we can somehow make it work. Let's see if we can make it somehow work. I will freeze that air defense over here. We can push somehow through. We have a lot of defense on the back end. That's where I'm going to then use the next rage, I believe. Let's just try to get the sneaky goblins right. So we're getting the pathing in there. Let's rage that up. Just like that. We can use the king ability. Where do we wall break in though? That's the question right now. Where do we wall break in? I think we have to wall break in over here. Which I think has not worked. <laughs> That's not Those non-max wall breakers are quite annoying. Let me tell you that. <laughs> Let me tell you that. So maybe the sneaky goblins can open the wall. Obviously they're... Is that the max wall? I don't even know. I don't even know. Is there anything in the corner left? No, but that's a really high percentage. That's a really high percentage. That's not too bad. Let's try to take those buildings out. Okay, we're going to get one more collector, which is going to be an 86%, which is quite decent, okay? It's a really high percentage, which could give us the opportunity to get the high... My, my record, okay? Let's see, it's a 28 trophy count. So if I'm either lucky, having a ton of 15 with a, a ton of blizzard value, or option two, having a non ton of 15 base. One of those two, and we're maybe looking good to get above 200 trophies as a ton of 12. And we have a ton of 12, but I think the value for a blizzard is not too bad. I don't think it's too bad. The question though now is, where do we enter, okay? Where do we enter? Um, we could fly from down here, but I feel like that's way too risky, okay? I don't want to go for the riskiest approach. I still want to have a solid chance of getting my challenge done. At the same time, though, we have to get a lot of... Pr oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What should I... Risk it. Risk. We have to risk it, okay? We have to risk it. At this point, I want to somehow make this work. There's first black man. Come on, come on, come on. Get. Come on, get further. Yes! Invisible. Rage. One, two, three. Everything invisible again. One, two, three, and four. Nice, we got the eagle already. That's good, that's good. Next invisible. One, two, three, and four again. This is looking so good. The value is insane. The value... Oh my lord. Let's go. The only problem though is there is... And that's what I meant. There is no buildings outside of the wall which is really really bad for us as someone who's obviously relying on that to get high percentage and that's a big problem anti-archer giant bombs okay now i have seen everything <laughs> now i have seen everything the question still is where do we enter where do we get the most percentage i click on the top right but uh, i'm not sure where no 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 where do i enter don't troll now don't troll now i think the top right that's where i get the most percentage okay I have to wall break in here. I, that's where I would send my heroes in. So, just like that. Come on, come on. And like that. We're going to use the poison right here. Rage it up over here. Because as I said, that's where all of the percentage is. Let's add some CT goblins. Get the percentage. Mm. And see. I will use the freeze over here to protect my king a little bit. We're getting there. I think it's looking good. We have the warning ability, which we can use around the top side. Come on, come on, come on. Warning ability, when and where. I think now. I'm going to rage it now as well. Oh, there's some black might. That's fine. Queen ability now. We can use maybe an archer somewhere. I'm not really sure. Maybe top side? No, that was a stupid, really stupid idea. 63. No, we need more, more percentage. Could I get... Where could I get more percentage? I got the most insane blizzard value ever, but I can't really get anything out of it because... Are you joking? Because this guy's having all buildings inside. No way. Wait, is it... 
I think I need 23 trophies to get exactly... Wait, where do I... No, I can't get anything anymore, right? Ah, uh, this guy! Why is he having all buildings inside? Ah, uh, you have to be... How many trophies is this? How many tro Please, 23. <laughs> no way! No way! I nearly got it! Is it... It's going to be... Ah, come on! No way! We did it back to back? Are you kidding me? That was the most insane blizzard, but the sneaky goblins were completely wasted. Okay, so for the next episode, I will guarantee and tell, I can tell you, I will 100% switch my strategy. Not because this one is bad, but because I'm a greedy, greedy person, okay? And I feel like this is already really solid. Like, don't get me wrong. I think getting around 200 trophies on offense as a Town Hall 12, and that's where I'm getting slowly with, like, figuring out, like, what are the limits? What can you do? What should you not do? Um, this is something which is insane. Um, but at the same time, I want to get even more, okay? I want to optimize everything. And I can only recommend this strategy to you overall. But I think I want to try a little bit more with Lalo. I think the same approach. I think Blizzard is still the number one approach for me personally. But I think I want to go with Lalo after. I've seen a lot of people suggesting um, the Queen Charge, Baby Dragon with the Sneaky Goblin Blimp. But I feel like especially versus bases, what was the base? I think this one. I think especially, no, it was the other one. Especially versus bases versus like a lot of spell towers next to it. You might really struggle. Like I think versus a setup like this, it could be a really, really painful uh, with the Sneaky Goblin approach. You have to freeze that. You have to freeze that. You have to freeze. Like there is, I think... A super wizard blimp is not always getting the craziest value like on this one, but it is way more consistent, um, I think, overall with getting the town hall if you are not as like risky and greedy as I have been so far in some other videos so far. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm, I'm not a fan of the sneaky goblin blimp in those attacks, uh, which I've suggested a lot. So I really would like to see what the winners in the end of the challenge is like going to come up with and what the strategy is. Maybe I'm playing the blimp wrong, who knows? I mean, that, that could be for sure true. So if you're a Tower 12 and you think you are an insanely good attacker in Tower 12 versus upper and higher Tower level, and you can really prove yourself in Legends, do it. Make sure that you're pushing this exact season and you have a chance to overall win a ton of prizes, overall a prize pool of three Supercell VIP merch boxes. We have the uh, 3,500 gems overall as prize pool. So there's a lot of things which you can actually win if you're getting into the top three of the leaderboards uh, as a Town Hall 12. And well, give it a shot. I would love to see your strategy after. And obviously I would love to see your base because, well, <laughs> I mean, today it was pretty good with like plus 78 and if there's more defenses coming in, I'm not sure if I get that much plus. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know what strategy you would run in my case. Thank you so much. I will see you guys back tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye.